People ask me all the time, where's my favorite place to fish? I say always, 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 Sault Ste. Marie, the St. Mary's Rapids. This week I'm with John Giuliani. I've had him as a guide before, he always puts me into fish. I'm Bill Spicer, this is the new Fly Fisher. This week, the new Fly Fisher crew is in Algoma country in Sault Ste. Marie. The city is located on the St. Mary's River in Ontario, across from its twin city of Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. The two cities are connected by an international bridge, which crosses over the rapids and locks. In 1920, Ernest Hemingway stated, at the present time, the best rainbow trout fishing in the world is in the rapids of the Canadian Sioux. This statement still has merit as the rapids of the St. Mary's River are truly a fly fisher's mecca. What was true in 1920 is still true today. This is a unique and almost perfect fishery. Species available in the rapids are migratory steelhead, resident rainbow trout, Atlantic salmon, pink salmon, Chinook salmon, brown trout, resident brook trout, and even whitefish. My guide for this trip is John Giuliani, owner of Giuliani Fishing Adventures. I've used him in the past and he always puts me into fish. I'm faced with a situation here where it's quite deep back he down here and I can't follow my, my drift down. How do I get down to where the fish are? The fish are probably 40, 50 feet away from me. How do I do that? Well, what we do is we stack mend and it's simply done like this. I get my cast out, mend up, and then as I mend again, I add line with my left hand. See what my left hand is doing? I'm adding line and I'm mending up line you can get a long drift, 50, 60, 70 feet. The only situation I'll warn you about is if you're going down 70 feet, remember if a fish hits, your line will stretch and it'll be much more difficult to set the hook. So only go there when you absolutely have to. I have to because I got a big rock about 70 feet down here and I just want to get it down there. There's no way I can follow down. It's over my head. So stack mending. Fish on. Like I say, when you move to a spot, if there's an aggressive fish, it usually doesn't take long. Oh, let go. Okay. <laughs> that was a huge fish. Now, John, tell us about the two fly rig that you had me with that big Chinook I got. I, I mind you, I lost it, but that fish actually hit on the swing. Explain yeah. why. Well, especially this time of year, uh, being mid-October, there's a lot of different species of fish in here, and steelhead, rainbows especially, uh, we know that they like eggs. So we'll uh, put the egg on up above, and instead of like an egg-sucking leech, which is a certain fly, I'll do a leech chasing the egg. So I'll put a, a streamer, a leech in behind it, and it looks like it's chasing the egg, and any fish down there that territorial will chase that fly because that fly is chasing the egg. And it's just a territorial thing. And so like some big Chinooks, you know, big male Atlantics, you know, big steelhead have that instinct that they see that egg, they see something following it, bang, they're going to hit that streamer. And it works very effectively when you're swinging at the end of the drift. Fish on. You can, uh, you can walk close to shore and we can walk them down okay. there and get them down there. Here he Here comes. He comes. <laughs> oh, it's a Chinook. Is it a, a Chinook? Coho? Could be a Coho. Pretty lively. I think it's a coho. <clears throat> I 
Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> pretty good shape where it's Yeah, pretty good shape. <laughs> Great jump, man. <laughs> That indicates it's a fresh fish. The ones that have been in it for a while, they don't jump. That's it. Good, Good job, man. Bill. Yeah, he's a, he's a nice looking king. They're fun fish to catch. A lot of fun. Not, not, now that's a small fish. Yeah. When you come to the Sioux Rapids, this is a small king. My guide service is called uh, John Giuliani's uh, Fishing Adventures, and uh, I'll guide all over the Algoma district. And uh, but this is St. Mary's Rapids is uh, is my home. I was born and raised here, and I started guiding at the age of uh, 17. I like to do uh, boat fishing with clients uh, specifically for Atlantic salmon, and that's in. Uh, early July, you know, right into September. And uh, depending on the flow of the rapids, uh, I'll fish the mouth of the rapids for rainbows and steelhead. There you go. That's fish. Fish on. Probably Chinook. I can't move it. <laughs> so I'll pluck it like a guitar. Uh, he's just realizing he's caught now. Oh, it's a big Chinook. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he ate that thing too, man. He did. Wow. <laughs> Get him? Oh, we got him. Oh, my, oh my. God. That's a hog. <laughs> <laughs> wow. -y. Oh. Yes, they're attacking. They're not eating, but they're attacking anything that's around them. Oh. Huge. rod and reel I'm using today is an 11 foot number seven switch rod. Now what a switch rod is, it's a halfway mark between a single handed rod and a two handed rod. You can use it single hand or double hand. I matched it up with a good large arbor reel with a really strong drag. That's a must here because the fish are tremendously big. Uh, we got Chinooks up to 30 pounds, we got steelhead 10 to 15 pounds. You need all the drag you can get. Now. What I also have on here is an actual switch line. It's designed for this rod to be the, either used single-handed or double-handed. You can really do nice spay uh, casts with this quite easily. So that's it in a nutshell. 11 foot number seven switch rod, matching reel, switch line. John suggested we move farther downstream to a spot he knows nobody fishes. It was tight quarters, but worth the effort to get in. The reason why we're fishing this tight to shore, and we're fishing this spot in particular is because we see a lot of Chinooks spawning in the calmer water near the shore. There's a little deeper water in behind the Chinooks, and it's strictly like a restaurant for them. They're just eating eggs from those Chinooks. It's a strictly a yarn bite. We got uh, fly, yarn flies on, and Bill's uh, stack mending it down into this little deeper water, just down from some spawning Chinooks. And, uh, and you'll be surprised what you can catch in shallow water. This water here is no deeper than three feet, but up further, it's a foot and a half. So we're fishing that little dip in behind the Chinooks and it's working for us.
Fish on. Fish on? Fish Get on, on, buddy. Fish on. Yeah, dude, that's a good fish. I thought there'd be a small spot, but this is a big fish. Nice steelhead. Think it's a steely? Oh, I know it is. Let him run. That's a big steelhead. He's coming upstream. That's what I want. Yep. That's a bummer. <laughs> and I just about fell in. <laughs> come to the St. Mary's Rapids, there's three essentials you need. First, you need a good set of cleated boots with the spikes on them, absolute must. The rocks are slippery here and they're craggy, so a good set of cleated boots. The second thing you need, good wading staff. This is essential, even for young people. These waters are treacherous. That third leg will save your life. And the third thing, good set of polarized sunglasses. You need it to see where you're going. Uh, the water is clear, but this takes all the glare out. You can see the bottom clearly. So this, this is another must. So three things, studded boots, waiting staff, polarized sunglasses. What I'm doing, I'm in tight quarters, so I really don't have a lot of room to, to cast. I'm just trying to get it out as fast as, as far as I can. And as it passes me, I'm gonna uh, mend out line and extend the line and let it drift all the way down as far as I can let it go. It's not easy, but uh, there, I mend up like this and just keep mending line. Fish on! Fish on, fish on. Oh yeah, that's the nice little skippers you want. Come on, little fishy, stay in the hole. Now this would be a re resident? This is a resident also, yeah. Bringing it over to you? Nice little, yep. <laughs> if he wants to cooperate. He's a jumper, isn't he? He is. Good job, Bill. Just a little bit more. This fast current, we gotta use the long handle net. Good job, There Bo. we go. That's All right. A, that's a nice, chunky <laughs> resident bow. That's a, yeah, it's a resident. I'll let you handle it, John. Okay. Fat, look how fat it is. Resident rainbow, though. They don't, they never leave the, the, the rapids. The system. That's okay, you can let them go now. The flies that we're using in fishing the rapids, especially this time of year with the Chinook spawning, are egg patterns. Bill. Hit uh, most of his fish on eggs. I think we hit one fish on a woolly bugger, but different color eggs is very important, not just go to one color. The further you go down from a spawning bed, you gotta lighten up on your egg. As soon as it comes out of the fish, it's bright orange. The further you get downstream, it milks out, so you have to go to your whites. Another fly that you have to bring with you is a must in the Goma country, in the St. Mary's, is a variety of woolly buggers. Olive, black, brown, nothing fancy, they all work. Fish on. Fish on? Good job. Hit right out in front of us here. Yeah, we just gotta let it slow down, I think, after you catch a fish because these fish aren't used to uh, being pressured at all. And I think that first ten, eight or 10 pounder you hit. Yeah, it, disturbed uh, it. This is a good fish too. Feels like it. <laughs> Looks like a brook trout. Uh, this, it's, a, oh, it's a resident rainbow. Resident rainbow, okay. Yeah. Just the, the red around it there. Yeah. Good man. Hey man. You know, they don't gotta be big, but look how chunky these rainbows are. Look at that. That's where you wanna hook them in the scissors. Good job, yeah. Bill. Yeah, thank you. Look at the eggs he's popping up. Oh yeah.
My cameraman mentioned to me that he thought the water was beginning to drop. All of a sudden, we could see the brim wall appearing. Now, I want you to see what's ha just happened in the last 10 minutes. I'm standing on this rock when I first got here. This is what I've been fishing on. The water was over my knees. Now look how far it's dropped down. In 10 minutes, they closed the gates. That's a super, super lucky break for us. Now the water is weightable, it's not treacherous, and there's still lots of fish around. So I'm really, really, really excited about this. Here you go. Yep. Fish. Fish on! Nice steelhead. Oh, he's rubbing yet. Big steelhead. Might have to walk out a bit, but let me take it. Nope. That's it. He's still there. Nice, nice trout. Oh, Ooh, that's gonna get deep. Oh yeah. Big fish. I don't know if I don't know if it's a Chinook or not. A rainbow. Oh, it's a big fresh Chinook. It's fresh Chinook, yeah. Boy, she looks pretty fresh, man. Huge fish. <laughs> Look at that. That's a nice looking king. Beautiful fish, buddy. Wow. Good man. Good. <laughs> <laughs> She's a barrel. It's not Ice. even ready to spawn. Good. It's a hen, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> okay, look at that, John. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Beautiful, nice looking fish. John, thanks a lot. That was awesome. We got so lucky with this water dropping like this. Outstanding. Yeah. Now, I'm sure we were going to get lots of fish the way it was. It just would have been more difficult. I don't think we would have had a crack at landing a fish like that. No, that not that big. Not that big. You did a great job fighting thank, it. Bro. Thank you. Now that the water's gone down, I can really see where all the pocket water is. And what I mean by pocket water is fast moving water that dumps into deep water. And right over here, I've got two rocks and I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a slot that goes right down beside the rock and I'm betting there's fish in there. Uh, I'm gonna put my fly and indicator about two, three feet ahead of the small rock ahead and let it flow down there and it gives it uh, time for the, for the flies to sink down. And I, and I bet you I'm gonna take a fish there. Fish on! Nice one! Oh yeah, nice fish! He's got a nice steelhead on. Nice steelhead, Bill! Oh, that's a beautiful rainbow! <laughs> We've run into a unique situation here. Yeah, the water receded. <laughs> the water's down, all of a sudden they closed the gates. They closed the gates, the water's down, and he's got a beautiful fish on. Oh! Awesome jumps, Bill. <laughs> Big fish. Big fish always. That's a gorgeous fish. It is really old. Nice Look at small it how bright fish. it is. Now my my biggest problem is I got this big rock here. Oh man, look at the size. And he wants of to it. go around it. He's a fat one. He wants to go around it, and I'm trying to keep him away from going down the other side of it. You're doing a good job. He's coming up to you now. One more time. We got him. Good All job, right. Bill. Yes, <laughs> baby. That's a gorgeous. We're going to show you what a St. Mary's rainbow trout looks like. You tell me this is a resident rainbow. This is a resident fish. How do you, how do you, how do you tell? You can tell because rainbow trout have Every fish has a lateral line. The rainbow trout have radiating dots down to the belly and on the bottom fins, where steelhead don't.
John. What a fantastic day of fishing. That's about the best I've had. <laughs> Been nice rainbows, lost that nice steelhead, but that's okay. Big Chinooks, big Chinooks. The rapids were on fire. Yeah, that was awesome. I highly recommend John Giuliani if you're coming up to the Sioux Rapids. He's the best. For more information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines, we'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today. Now we're putting up brand new videos all the time, so if you want to be notified when a new one goes up, click that bell icon and it'll come to you as soon as it's uploaded.